Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we will be sharing Psalms 68 and 69, but before leaving your prayer request. That we will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, so you help the channel to share the word of God. Psalm 68 Let God arise, and let your enemies be scattered, those who hate him will flee from before him. As smoke is driven away, so you drive them away, as wax melts before fire, so may the wicked perish before God. But let the righteous be glad, and rejoice in the presence of God, and rejoice for joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, praise him who rides on the heavens, for his name is Lord, and rejoice before him. Father of orphans and judge of widows is God, in his holy place. God makes the solitary person live in a family, he frees those who are bound in fetters, but the rebels dwell on dry land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you walked in the wilderness. The earth shook, and the heavens dripped before the face of God, even Sinai itself was moved in the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O oh God, sent the rain in abundance, comforted your inheritance when it was weary. Your flock dwelt therein, Thou, O God, hast made provision of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word, Great was the army of those who brought the good news. Kings of armies fled in haste, and she that stayed in the house divided the spoils. Though ye lie among pens, yet ye shall be like the wings of a dove, covered with silver, and its feathers, yellow gold. When the Almighty there scattered the kings, it was like snow on salmon. The mountain of God is like the mountain of Bashan, a high mountain like the mountain of Bashan. Why do you leap, O lofty mountains? This is the mountain that God desired for his habitation, and the Lord will dwell in it forever. God's chariots are twenty thousands, thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them, as at Sinai, in the holy place. Thou hast ascended on high, Thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts for men, and even for the rebellious, that the Lord God may dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who from day to day loads us with benefits, the God who is our salvation. Our God is the God of salvation, and to God the Lord belong the deliverances from death. But God will grievously wound the head of his enemies and the hairy skull of him who walks in his guilt. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan, I will bring my people back from the depths of the sea. So that your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies, and the tongue of your dogs in it. O oh God, they have seen thy ways, the ways of my God, my King, in the sanctuary. The singers went ahead, the instrument players behind, among them the maidens playing timbrels. Celebrate God in the congregations, to the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, who rules over them, the princes of Judah with his company, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Your God ordained your strength, strengthen, O God, what you have already done for us. For the sake of your temple in Jerusalem, kings will bring you gifts. He harshly rebukes the wild beasts of the reeds, the multitude of bulls, with the bullocks of the peoples, until each one submits with pieces of silver, dissipates peoples who desire war. Princes will come from Egypt, Ethiopia will soon stretch out her hands to God. Kingdoms of the earth, sing to God, sing praises to the Lord. To him who rides on the heavens of heavens, which were of old, behold, he sends forth his voice, he gives a vehement cry. I have ascribed strength to God, His excellency is over Israel, and His strength is in the highest clouds. O God, Thou art trembling from Thy sanctuaries, the God of Israel is the one who gives strength and power to His people. Blessed be God. Psalm 69 Deliver me, O God, for the waters have entered into my soul. I got mired in a deep quagmire, where one cannot stand, I entered the depths of the waters, where the current carries me. 
I'm tired of crying, my throat has dried up, my eyes fail waiting for my God. Those who hate me without cause are more than the hairs on my head, those who seek to destroy me, being my enemies unjustly, are powerful, so I returned what I did not steal. Thou, O God, knowest my folly, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let them not be put to shame for my sake that hope in thee, O Lord God of hosts, let not those who seek you be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. For for your sake I have endured affronts, confusion covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brethren, and a stranger to my mother's children. For zeal for your house has devoured me, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept, and I punished my soul with fasting, it became an affront to me. I put on a sackcloth and became a proverb for them. Those who sit at the door speak against me, and I was the song of strong drinkers. But I offer my prayer to you, O Lord, at an acceptable time, O God, hear me according to the greatness of your mercy, according to the truth of your salvation. Take me out of the mire, and let me not get bogged down, may I be delivered from them that hate me, and from the depths of the waters. Let not the stream of water carry me away, and let me not be drawn into the deep, nor let the well close its mouth over me. Hear me, Lord, for your mercy is good. Look upon me according to your most pity. And do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress, hear me quickly. Draw near to my soul, and rescue it, deliver me because of my enemies. You have well known my affront, and my shame, and my confusion, before you are all my adversaries. Affronts have broken my heart, and I am very weak, I waited for someone who had compassion, but there was none, and for comforters, but I did not find them. They gave me gall for food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table before them become a snare, and prosperity a snare. Let their eyes be darkened, so that they cannot see, and let their loins tremble constantly. Pour out your indignation on them, and let your fierce anger bind them. Let your palace be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast wounded, and they converse about the pain of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not enter into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sad, put your salvation to me, O God, on high retreat. I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This will be more pleasing to the Lord than an ox, or a calf that has horns and hooves. The meek will see this, and will be pleased, your heart will live, because you seek God. For the Lord hears the needy, and does not despise his captives. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion, and build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and possess it. And he shall inherit it the seed of his servants, and they that love his name shall dwell in it. Amen. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like.